Another song with some great examples of his, of his double stops is a song where he plays with uh, Louis Jordan. And the tune is called Reap, Petite, and Gone. Great song. And Bill Jennings plays this great double stop opening to the song. It sounds something like this. It's in the key of G. It goes like this. sure if that's exactly the way he plays it. It's pretty pretty close. And again, I'm just using those same positions that we went through the first time. So he starts out just back and forth, going down a fret, back a fret on the on the, the one double stop. Then he ends up on this the second position double stop with the first finger on the eighth, seventh fret, and the second finger on the eighth fret of the second string. So again, then when he goes to the four, so here's another thing when you're playing that first position, you can go to the four and just go to the second position right there. First finger on the 10th fret of the first string, and this time the second finger. Instead of the third finger on the 12th fret, we've got the second finger on the 11th fret. So he goes back to that leg, and he hits the one again. Here I'm not sure what he's doing. I think he's doing, because the five is a D. He might do it up here. It sounds like he's doing a ninth chord almost. I'm just doing the double stop, which is at the 10th, 11th frets, just taking that second position, double stop, and moving it over, and this is the D, there's a D bar chord, he just does it quickly, and then, so that, that lick, so it's this, slides in there too. So you take a very simple idea and make it sound really powerful. And then when he gets into the second verse, he comes back to the seventh position. And here he's just doing a double stop on the 15th fret, which is a G. It's a G chord, just taking the fir first finger, I'm using my third finger. Then he's going back to the four position on, on, over the one, this one. Then he does this little lick, where he's going from the there, so the seventh, the second, first position, double stop, first fingers on the thirteenth fret of the first string, ring fingers on the fifteenth fret of the second string. Then he's going to that second position with the first finger on the twelfth fret, second on the thirteenth, and then to the one G. So he's going. song. So there's another cool example of how Bill Jennings can use these double stops. It's really a melodic and powerful tool in his playing. Now sometimes he just does fills and one of my favorite Bill Jennings songs is a song with Roy Brown called A Letter From Home. And in that song, I'll show you a lot of licks, he does some great licks in this song. But he does a double stop lick. That same type of thing that I just showed you, but he plays it a little differently. Now that song is in B flat. We're going to stay in G. And he does something like this. As a fill lick. After Roy Brown sings one of the verses of the song, he's playing. And that's exactly what we just did a minute ago. Remember this? But I'm just playing loosening my wrist up and double rapid picking.
like that. And that is a cool fill lick. And you'll hear Bill Jennings a lot of times will use those double stops as fills. So that's another example. Now he plays it in B flat, so he'd be doing this. Which is kind of tough to do on a, on this guitar with my big hands. But that's that's the idea. Now another Bill Jennings double stop idea. This one's kind of cool too, and this will be the last one before we move on to some other things. This is one um, also in the tune Bluegrass. And this is a lick that's real similar to a Robert Jr. Lockwood instrumental. I, can't, I don't know the name of it, but maybe you'll see what I'm talking about. At one point in the song, he breaks into this double stop kind of melody, and he plays it through the whole verse. I'll play it for you one time, and then we'll break it down. <laughs> double stops, which I've shown in a lot of a lot of these guys use these. I'm starting out just walking over or playing over a G shape. First position G chord. And I'm doing this from the fifth fret or uh, fifth fret of the fourth string to the fourth fret of the third string to the third fret of the second string. And then I'm sliding into that seven. Which is a double stop with my, I'm using my second finger on the sixth fret of the uh, second string, my ring finger on the seventh fret of the third string. And I'm sliding into it from below, from the fifth and sixth string, fifth and sixth frets. So one more time. And then we're going, flattening out ring finger on the second and third strings at the fifth fret. And then I'm doing this classic swing, blues, R&B, double stop. I've got my first finger on the uh, third fret, second and third strings, and I'm hammering my second finger down on the third string at the fourth fret. But I'm, I'm picking both the second and third strings. Now I'm doing this this time. Going back to that, back to that. Third fret, fourth fret on the third string. Little Charlie Christian type thing. And then fifth fret of the fourth string. So the whole part over the one chord, the G. And then when he goes to the four, he's just doing the exact same thing over the C. the D to the four back to the one there's some kind of little single string run in there so that is another Bill Jennings idea so you're playing a solo and you do some single string stuff part of this lesson we'll, we'll get into some single string runs and some bends and some chord ideas and some other stuff.